Hello and welcome to Seriously Casual Gaming. This is your host Shane Delbon and I'm going to be playing Super Mario 64. Dear Mario, please come to the castle. I have baked a cake for you. Yours truly, Princess Toadstool. Peach. This is the first ever video game that I've ever played and thus I'm the most familiar with this title. Um... I got this back in, well, actually, it was a gift from my older brother, but it was a family console. So, I ended up starting playing this around 97, 98, back when I was around 4 to 3. And got into it really quick. Um, since I was younger and I hadn't played 2D games before, I didn't have that experience, uh, 3D wasn't that big of a problem for me as it was for my older brother and dad, who started off with, you know, the original Super Mario Bros. Anyway, here we are starting out, that first message was, you know, your typical instructions, move, A is a jump, B is attack, stupid Lakitu. That Lakitu is actually going to be our cameraman. Here we have a message from Bowser, welcome, no one's home, no scramming, don't come back. Gwahaha! God, I hate that laugh. It still scares me to this day. Um, this is, well, at least from the very beginning, well, just at the very beginning, excuse me, implied that, implying that we, uh, this Mario game is a staged production similar to Super Mario World 3 and Super Mario, or not Super Mario World, Super Mario Bros 3. In Super Mario Bros. 3, it was a stage, and this looks to be like a live drama set of some sort. I'm not entirely sure, but it's an interesting theory. Um, I'm commentating on this in post because I don't have a microphone, and that's just kind of the way it has to be for right now. Uh... Here I'm going up the mountain, taking the shortcuts, the flowers back there, and this little bit up here are great shortcuts for moving around the level really quickly. If you're doing speed runs or tasks or whatever. Um, I'm the Big Bob Bomb, Lord of All Blasting Matter. Uh, how do you skip? Fuck it. I'm not doing voices for this. What do you think I am? I'm not Lugagin. I'm not. I'm not Gerard. I'm not. I'm not anyone. I'm not even the Game Grumps. I am Shane Delbon. I'm fucking fantastic. Okay, so for this fight, you want to get around his backside and uh, grab him with the B button. Um, after the first one, you can't just run around behind him and grab him. You have to jump over him. Ma that's me making sure that I'm not going to throw him off the edge there. Because that is terrible if you do, because it starts the fight over effectively. And... Uh, I don't know. It's it's fun for a laugh or two if you want to watch him super mad all the way up the fucking mountain. Uh, <clears throat> so he's going to give us his power star. Um, telling us, giving a little hint about uh, how to beat Bowser. Blood and gore everywhere! At least for the Nintendo 64. And here's our first power star. You're going to need these to open doors and all kinds of fun stuff later in the game, uh, and it there's a number amount for each uh, Bowser level. You've recovered one of the stolen power stars. Now you can enter doors with a quantity of one, which is like two of them at the moment. But we're going back to bob on Battlefield because this is where we're going to be for the first episode. I don't care what you say. So, this Koopa Troopa is a lot larger than the ones that we fought in the past. Um, unless, of course, you know, considering Super Mario Bros. 3, Giant Island, that fucker's tried to start before us. Um, funny little thing about this race is, um, if you use these teleporters, uh, the flower and the uh, hole in the wall teleporters, uh, he doesn't consider it cheating. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna learn from that ball. I'm just not gonna learn. He doesn't consider using the teleporters cheating. Um, I don't know why. But if you use one of the cannons, 
he'll consider the race forfeit. Just won't count it at all. But if you use the teleporters, I guess he doesn't know about those and he can't fit, so whatever. I don't know. Uh, and yeah. So, easy way to beat it. Uh, the uh, serious part of this is that I know a lot of the game. I know really well the games that I'm going to play really well. And hopefully that's going to be a recurring theme that I don't fuck up too much. Still not learning from the balls. Um, those little hearts, they're in a few levels. Don't expect them to be in every level. I think there's like two or three that they're in, honestly. You run through them, they heal you. But, uh, I hope that, uh, the games that I'm going to be playing are pretty well done. That's a serious part of it, but casual in that I'm nowhere near MLG. I'm not going to lie to you. MLG is just not a thing that I can do. It is not at all a thing that I can do. Um, so I'm going to be playing casual games, I'm not going to be playing against anyone for the most part, unless I can get a couple of friends over, and in which case we'll co-commentate uh, the episodes that I can have them in, uh, but don't expect that for quite some time. <clears throat> Pardon me. Talking for... A large amount of time is a little bit wearing on my voice, and I probably should have gotten some water. Uh, Pink Bob Bombs, after you beat, after you beat the uh, King Bob Bomb, you talk to these guys on any stage after that, and they'll open up cannons on, I think, all stages, but don't quote me on that. Uh, this, this game has like a chapter like interface, but it only really applies to the first couple levels, I, which is really disappointing because I wish they had gone with that mechanic a little bit more than what they did. Uh, this... Uh, <clears throat> no, not Tall Tall Mountain. Uh, the first Ice World, um, Womp's Fortress, and... Yeah, I think that's it that uh, they use this mechan that mechanic on there that I can remember off the top of my head. And with that, uh, do I do one more? Yes, I do. Um, <coughs> <coughs> pardon me. Um, we're going to do a little bit of sequence breaking here. If you noticed on the... Uh, uh, star select screen they give you a little hint about each of the little uh, the star that's up next although this game really did promote a little bit of sequence breaking so you could do them in almost any order uh, given what you had passage to um, Chin Chomp dancing around because he's free bitches whoa and he was never seen again. Woo! Alrighty. So, that is going to be that. Uh, this has been Shane Delbon. And as always, stay beautiful, stay healthy, and dance kick out.